facility is really cool. It's like a scene in Goodfellas, the tracking camera where he goes through the kitchen and into the nightclub. Like you could walk through the front door of our retail building, go in line, purchase or whatever. Take a door that'll take you right into our storage and inventory management that will take you into our processing facility. Go through a side door there that will take you to our indoor grow building through the back door there that will take you into our greenhouse. So, so we have it all here on site. We, you know, we call it a campus. It really is. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on Raising Cannabis Capital, we are joined by Michael Cohen from The Pass. Michael, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, Dan. Well, I have to admit that when we scheduled your interview, we really thought that your company's biggest advantage was your proximity to New York City. And so we thought that we'd be building the focus of the show around that, but boy, we completely underestimated the scope of your operation. Yeah, you're the closest dispensary to New York City. I mean, and we're going to talk about that because that is super important. But the Pass is a fully vertically integrated Massachusetts cannabis company. And you guys do everything. So let's just start off and go sector by sector so our listeners can get an idea of everything that you do. Let's start with cultivation. Tell us about how you're doing your cultivation. So we have three tiers of cultivation. We have indoor, we have greenhouse, and we have outdoor. We have eight grow rooms in our indoor building. In addition, we have a mother room and we have a vegetation room, and then we have a fully operational light deprivation greenhouse, which okay. provides full spectrum sunlight to the plants, but also enables us to control the atmosphere and also to control the flowering of the plants. Because when plants get more than 12 hours of light, they grow. When they get less than 12 hours of light, they flower. So we grow the plants to a certain size, and then we control the light so that we can control the flowering. That's interesting. And you, you mentioned that you have an outdoor. That seems unique. I haven't heard too many Northeast outdoor grows. Right. Yeah, it is unique. You know, the Berkshires are mountains and it's farm country. And, and Sheffield, where we're based, is a right to farm community. So we feel that the, the Berkshires is a natural place. It's, it's, it's the place where the cannabis in Massachusetts should be coming from. But we also felt that having sun-grown flower would be a benefit because the, the full spectrum light from the sun provides added benefits to get into the plant. So... Well, for the people that have never been to that part of the world, that is it's some of the most beautiful country there is. It's just, you know, it's, it's pristine. It's like Norman Rockwell painting. Yeah. It's so nice there. Yeah, so two two towns north of us is Stockbridge, where, where Norman Rockwell lived and painted. Well, there you go. Well, yeah, there, there you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's move on to processing. Okay. Do you do all the processing right in that facility? We do all the processing. Our facility is really cool. It's like the scene in Goodfellas, the tracking camera where he goes through the kitchen and into the nightclub. Like, you could walk... Yeah through the front door of our retail building, go in line, purchase or whatever, take a door that'll take you right into our storage and inventory management that will take you into our processing facility, go through a side door there that will take you to our indoor grow building, through the back door there that will take you into our greenhouse. So <laughs> so, so we have it all here on site. But we, you know, we call it a campus, it really is, but we, we think it's meaningful because in particular, the integration between cultivation and processing is really important. Like we make full range of products with a full range of, of different processing methods. The inputs, you know, raw material, the, the cannabis itself, is different depending upon what strain we're growing and what media we're growing it. And, and so the ability to plan our lab around what's happening in the grow is, I think, a, an important benefit for us to create really reliable products. Mm -hmm. and ones that produce a full range of effects, which is what we're going for. And you make all the products right there? We do. We make all the products right there. Our retail store, we also wholesale in products from other preferred partners. It was always part of our retail plan to provide not just our products, but the best of the state. But yeah, we make the full range. And I think that rolls me right into the retail store. I've only seen pictures. I haven't been to, your, to, to the site, but... It's like a work of art with the uh, sort of the whole barn setting and everything. That you said it opened three weeks ago. Yes, three weeks ago. And how's it going? It's going great. Uh, we really just we lucked out with it. We, it's like a big modern barn, particularly in the time of a pandemic. It's a nice high ceiling. It feels pretty roomy. 
Well, and you, you are the closest adult use dispensary to the city. We are. So I suspect that it can't hurt. Yeah, no, it can't hurt. You know, it's adult use is not legal in New York. It's not legal in Connecticut. But geographically, we're, we're well positioned as it relates to our well, neighbors to the south. Oh, and even if Albany's close by, it is, you're in a great spot. Let's jump forward. I know you've only been open three weeks, so to talk expansion would probably be a little premature. But what are your plans? Oh, good. So in Massachusetts, you're allowed to have three retail stores. So okay. for us, you know, to launch our business, it's like launching four businesses at once. We have to launch a cultivation business, a manufacturing business, a retail business, and a wholesale business because we'll be selling our products into other stores. We, we actually already are. But from opening up other retail that's not currently part of our business model, we have a CBD business that's being planned and we have some other state opportunities. It would be great to bring the, the past into other states. But, you know, right now we're establishing our operations and our systems so that we can reliably produce quality and volume product. Well, with the the ability to have three retail sites, that's a really nice opportunity for you. And when you decide to exercise that or move forward, will you raise capital to do that or? We may. We did a full fundraise. We have some money left on the cap table. You know, when we start any business, it's it's basically overcoming hurdles and challenges as you go. And that first one was raising money. I come from the tech business where it's like build a prototype, you get some customers, and then you do your angel round or you're able to bootstrap it. And then you can really build a product and build your business and then do an A round. For us, all of our CapEx was on upfront. So we looked at it like our series A, B, and C all at once. Yeah, and it's got to be great to have the business up and running after, I mean, a three-year odyssey is you're seeing the fruits of your labor, so to speak. Yeah, you know, my partner, Chris, and I, we had to remind ourselves to appreciate the moment because it's really hard. There's so much work that we have to do right now. Yeah. Like getting open is like, okay, now we got to go to work, you know, so it's, <laughs> no, like, uh, it's kind of like, I don't know how long Tom Brady celebrates after he wins the Super Bowl, but my guess is... He's in the gym the next day or the day after, right? It's like, okay, we did it. But we really just got to the starting line is what we did. Sounds to me like you're going to have a a number of appearances in the Super Bowl if you keep going at this rate. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good metaphor. (laughs) Well, we'll have all of Michael's information in the show notes, and we'll also have it at mjbulls.com. So if anybody wants to reach out to him, try to convince him to take on some more investors or maybe talk to him about the wholesale business. I'm sure he'll be happy to talk to you. Michael, thanks for being on the show today. Dan, it was terrific. Great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Good luck. Thank you. 